In the main window, you can see the six different test tools for different tests. On the left side of the screen, you can return to the hardware configuration in case you need to make any adjustments. You can also assess further system settings pertaining to the software and application. For instance, you can change the phase labeling or make overcurrent curves available for testing with the trip time characteristics tool. In the main window, you can see the six different test tools for different tests. Analog output check can be used to check the correct wiring of the test set. The pickup test tool checks the thresholds of a specific protection function by ramping the current, voltage, or frequency. The direct tool is a generic tool which allows all the ARCO outputs to be controlled manually. You can define a pre-fault and a fault state and set every output individually with its amplitude, phase, and frequency. This can be used to test any function that is not covered by one of the other tools. The tripping sequence and trip time characteristic tools are used to test the correct reclosing performance of the recloser or sectionalizer control and verify the trip times. The purpose of the restoration tool is to test logic-based voltage functions for distribution automation schemes. In each of the test tools, you are guided step-by-step step through the testing sequence. With the arrows at the bottom of the pages, you can navigate from one screen to another. In many of the test tools, a navigation menu opens on the left-hand side of the screen. This is another convenient way of maneuvering through the different screens of the individual test tools. In each tool, you have the option of working in either primary or secondary values and seconds or cycles. This is done from the Primary Seconds button located at the bottom left-hand corner of the screen and by selecting the value to be displayed. To run a test and to activate the outputs of the ARCO, pull down the slider on the right-hand side of the test screen or use the CTRL and F5 key on your keyboard. After a test has finished, you can store the results using one of the following options. If the Save on User Request option is selected, you will have to click on the Save icon or use the F10 key every time you want to add test results to your report. With the Always Ask option, you will be prompted to save the results after a test has finished running. With the Auto Save option, the results will automatically be saved after each test has finished. The reports are saved to a predefined folder in the folder selection. The location of where the files are stored can be changed to a new location by selecting a different folder in the Report Folder option. For more detailed information about the individual test tools, please watch our other tutorials or review the user manual.